So what are we looking at here? What we have is a picture that the Spirit Rover took of some interesting, brightly colored soil in its wheel tracks. And the Spirit Rover has two cameras. They're really the two eyes at the top of the rover. And here we have an image taken by the left camera, the left eye. And then here we have an image taken by the right eye. And each of these eyes actually takes uh, multiple pictures. And so what we can do is we can look at the spectrum of reflected light off of this surface as seen by each of these cameras through multiple wavelengths. So what I'm going to do is just select a part of this image that's really interesting, this bright soil here. And I can draw a box around it in what's seen in the left eye. And I can draw, I can select the same image in this photo taken by the right eye. And then what pops up in this window um, over here, the red line is the spectrum of reflected light on this spot in the image. So what this tells us is that at 400 nanometers, uh, we have a brightness value of about 0.1. And then those reflectance values become brighter as we increase in wavelength. The human eye sees wavelengths in this region here. So what this tells us is that this is an image of a kind of reddish soil because it's brighter in red wavelengths than it is in the short blue wavelengths. So what we're doing here is we're quantifying the color of the surface of Mars. And we can look at color in a color image. Here's that same image in a, a color view. This is something um, similar to what the human eye would see, but the colors are exaggerated a little bit. So we can see that some of these soils are whiter, some of them are redder, some have a little bit of a blue tint in this stretch. But the work that I do uh, with the spectroscopy is saying more precisely what the specific colors are. And then the color tells us what specific minerals might be present in the soils. And the minerals tell us how the soil formed, what kind of environment it formed in. And so we're really going from color to an ancient environment on Mars, and that's the essence of my research.